we're here at the airport and uh, this is Kelly, Nanny Kelly we call her. Oh. <laughs> nanny Kelly is the most reliable, the best nanny transport person in the whole world. And then here's, here's Chanel's about to do a handoff. So we thought we'd do this video because it give you an idea about what goes on okay, when you're at the airport. So the first thing is, is that she's got all the paperwork. All the paperwork. That's her, yeah. so, that, so that is, that's the AKC registration, it's the, it's the um, acclimation statement, it's the vet report, it's the, the, the basically, and then there's some food. Is that your food or is that, some, is that your, you no, provide that? No, I ask everybody to bring whatever they're feeding. Whatever they're feeding. Because I don't want any, any surprises. There you go. Yeah. So enough food for at least a day or two. Yes. And then and normally then, I actually bring my own puppy pads, but um, I was out. So I had to bring my own puppy pads. Yeah. And then I have some snacks and some snacks. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we have the snacks for the kids. Yeah. And then we so, so he's been in the car today. So that's another thing is that Kelly's want to see the size of the dog because she wants to know whether this dog can fit in an airline approved soft crate that has to go under the seat, a takeoff, right? Right, right. Kelly? Yes. yes. So what is the maximum, what's the maximum weight you can have on a dog to fly? Uh, usually about 25 pounds. Okay, so there you go. That's like airline regulations. So, so this dog here is what, nine pounds, you know? Yeah. So I mean, no this problem. Is, this is pretty small. It's chunky. Yeah. You can actually even maybe get two of those guys. You do that occasionally, don't you? I do, yeah. From the like same I, litter. I have a, I, the same I also litter. have a larger carrier um, that I use when I take two. Um, so yeah, I can't take two because they're big. So that's one thing that, that we we don't and really like know. the idea about our baby traveling with somebody else's baby. Because right. you are purposes. quarantine purposes. Yeah, but right. with one, uh, two brothers and sisters or sisters and brothers or whatever, or brothers and brothers yeah. would be and absolutely fine. For litter mates, I don't have a problem yep. with so it. Yep, so we're, in the same, we're on the same page. Right. There you right. go. So some babies will do that. Some, 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 some transport people will do that. Yeah. We don't like it. Yeah, you find out afterwards. Yeah, you find out afterwards. I don't like that. Do not like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, good boy. Okay. So this actually should be uneventful. It's, it's Oklahoma City Phoenix. It's a direct flight. Um, oh, that's true. It should be really easy. We're a little bit late, but not enough to be significant. It's like oh, okay. five minutes after our well, schedule. Right so, so this brings up another point. When you're when you're pickup person, your nanny says be at the airport at a particular time. You want to be there you before be there that. Thirty minutes before. If you show up late, you your nanny may have gone. Yeah. And you're going to get charged for it. Yeah, oh yeah. So don't screw this they up, They have folks. their own schedules. Yes. They have their own schedules. And, and schedules happen. So, Nannies some, do have a life too. Yes, well sometimes, <laughs> some some people are doing this as standby. There's a lot of standby that goes on. You don't do standby, do you anymore, no, do you? I, so you're accredited with, uh, with all the all the necessary... Yeah, so yeah. the USDA, uh, I'm licensed with, as a yep. transporter. Oh, and um, I'm licensed and bonded as well. So yeah. Do you want to give your number out or not? Sure, it's uh, area code is 661-331-6744. I hope you could all hear that. One more time, one more time that number. 661-331-6744 uh, and it's Kelly Riley with Perfect Pet Transport. And how long have we known you for, Kelly? Oh gosh, well, six know, years. Guys. Six sure. years at yeah. Yeah. Yeah, So, so we've, yeah. we have, what's our success rate been with you? Oh, perfect. 100%. This girl gets... And the spelling is perfect, like perfect, like that. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So do pay attention to this because, look, it's not cheap to fly a, a puppy, but there's a reason for that. Right. Yeah. So if you're getting a silly low price, you've got to ask some questions here, folks, yeah. because you could be having multiple dogs flying at the same right. time. They may not get on a flight because they, they, they're going standby. Oh. So, so the price that you pay varies by location. And certainly, you know, it's, so we're not going to give you prices here. But all we can tell you about this is that we think that Kelly's the, she's the top dog. Okay. Okay. What else we got to say, guys? That's it. So now kiss your puppy goodbye. Cut it off so I can cry. Okay. <laughs> kiss your puppy goodbye. No, cut it off. Okay. Bye, buddy. <laughs> the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. 
there's nothing implied here and certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye. Mm -hmm.